Hey everybody, Constable Bruto Cage back with more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we beat the final boss, Bowser, and now we have 105 stars and we got the little uh, crown next to our file name, so that means we beat it. But there's still more to do, there's 120 stars. We're still missing 15. So we come back and there's a little 15. Welcome back! I knew you would return eventually! Please, look down at your feet! There's a 15 there. The number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world! Whether you succeed or fail, just attempting the challenge will show something about your character. Okay. So, that means there's only 15 stars left in the game. I don't know what the another world they're talking about is, because... Normally the another world they're talking about is the... Uh, uh, that you can play it as Luigi. But I guess that something else happens here. That's why they put the titles in green there. But as you can see, let's go talk to this guy. And let's look at the map. As we can see, there is Purple Comet. Here at the Good Egg Galaxy. That is the start of many. There's 15 in total, apparently. So let's go start purple hunting. They're not really hard, they're somewhat annoying and tedious at times, but let's go back to the Good Egg Galaxy, and let's finish this place off, finally. Alright, Purple Comet in orbit. So, Purple Coin Omelette. Interesting. So, apparently there's an omelette somewhere. A lot of the purple coins are like, through the entire level, some of them are just in a certain area with a time limit. They vary. But, let's see here, let's talk to the sign. Like 100 purple things to make something, purple coins to make something neat happen. So that's cool, they're all just in a line here. So just follow the trail of purple coins. Ow. You don't, there's like no use for star bits at all the rest of the kiss game now. Let's get that. Okay, so yeah. Purple coins. How about that? Um let's see if there's any on this planet. There is. So ow. I was just about to say watch out for the boulders. Okay, let's see, hopefully this will give us coins. No, of course not. Just started. Okay. Okay, there we go. Done on that plan now. We already have 40. These go by pretty quickly. And that's cool how they like put them on the path there. Let's see, let's look around. Still no coins. I need freaking coins. Okay. 60. I need to look for coins. I don't need star bits. I need coins, goddamn. Okay, apparently they're not going to give me any coins. That's cool. Thanks, game. You're so nice to me. 69. 70. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Let's fly away. And let's go into this star. Yeah. We haven't been there yet. We get more coins. Okay, now we're at this egg planet. So let's take off, and when we get to the other star, then we'll fly over to that one. We have an 80 already. Bin. Off we go for probably 10 more, so that's gonna give us 90 here. Which means that there are. Is there anything up here? Oh, coin! Thank you, game. I'm confused. Apparently, there's 10 more somewhere, but where are they? Where could they be? And let's wait for the boulders to pass, because I don't know their paths. That's just starbits. Because here, wait for that to go, and 
we go. Apparently we have to get to that planet somehow. I don't know how to do that, though. Okay, let's try this one. We haven't gone to it yet. Okay, there we go. 100. Alright, there we go. We're good. And that is the first of the purple coin. It's ours. The purple comets. Because we did get a purple coin star earlier in the Gateway Galaxy. But... We haven't done a purple comet yet. Now we have. whoop de doo So, yeah. Pretty much these are just... The purple comets are just gonna go show up through the levels sort of consecutively. You can move them with the Hungry Luma looking dude if you want, but... Not too much need for it. So let's go get this one here at the Honey Hive. Yeah! This is the annoying part of the game. They're okay at the beginning, but then they just get harder and tedious. And the Honey Hive's purple coins. A lot of them just have the generic title of that. Like the blank level purple coins. And this one's are so, this one's sort of hard because they're through the entire level, and there's like places in level that you haven't really explored too much yet. That there's purple coins show up in there. But let's do our best to beat this within 15 minutes. So we got one back here. That's a tricky one. So we got that M there fun to get, just cuz. Okay. Is there anything in here? No, there's not, but there's something up there. Let's wait for the next up, that next boulder to pass so that you don't die. Alright, there we go. Anything there? Okay, that'll take us to the other side, but we want to get stuff on this side first since we're over here. Um, yeah, behind here. Purple coins are sort of boring. Especially after you've already done them once before. Ooh, that was a nice save. That, that, that move is sort of, like, never used in this game. Now that you have the high jump with Z. Like, when you're playing Super Mario Sunshine, that move is like... That jump is just... Everything is reliant on that. But in this game, it's just really never use. It's sort of unfortunate because it's cool. It's a nice jump. Like, I probably wouldn't even really have noticed it was in this game too much if I had just stumbled across it a few times. Okay, but, uh, is there anything on? Yes, there is. Aha. Hiding the ones up there. Thinking I'm not gonna see that. I'm smarter than that game. Come on. If I've made it to this point in the game, I'm clearly good at it. Giant ground bound. I think that would give more star bits than that, but it doesn't. Okay, let's go up here. Go up here. There we go. So that whole area up there is fenced off, it looks like. So we can't go over there. We're not going to go in that pipe yet, because a pipe will take us places. I'm not sure if I want to go yet. Let's let these guys get stuck on my head. Suck on me. And let's see here. Hit this guy. Okay. And not get hit with that. And let's go up the vine. Whee! Oh, damn it. Hit the thing. So you gotta be on the edge of it there, and then you gotta high jump. Let's see here, but before we go continue with those ones, let's get those three. Good. And let's go back up the vine now. So there's one of those cases where you want to be careful with the jumping situation, or the spinny situation, because you don't want it to, uh, knock you off, 
or screw up your launch so that you don't make it on to the next part. But yeah, this one I don't like this one because it's just freaking long. It always ends up taking me a long time. I mean, it's already been a while since I started it. Let's see, where does that take me? It just goes up here. The spin oh, the spin thing doesn't work. Damn, that's just because you had the flying Mario. Oh, that would have been a lot of. That would have been like a savior in a few spots. That I can think of. Is there, any, is there more than one? There is. There's two back there. And there's one right there, just out of view. Let's kill the Wiggler. And. Ground pound. Opening a bridge for us. But before we do that, there's these ones here on the edge. So if you're not really the best of this game, purple coins can be sort of tricky. But you've, if you've made it to this point in the game, you should be good enough that you can do it. I mean, there's not really much that hasn't been done already in this. Oh, God. Let's see, what does the sign say? Don't jump over it. Yep, it's me. Okay. He tells me how to wall jump. I know how to wall jump, dude. Okay. So, get these ones. And... God. I only have 58. See, this is annoying. I hate. I don't like this comet. I've got way to screw me over by like changing the can the screen. Okay, so I jump up here and get that one. Is there any down there? I think there is. We're not gonna go down there exactly yet. We're gonna go get these ones. So I'll jump up there. That one, and then that one. Is there anything on this side? There is. They are pretty creative with hiding these. I mean, they're like literally everywhere in the level that you can go to. And there's also ones down here. So make sure you get those, and that will take us down there. That's good. Don't fall off the edge, because you don't want to have to go back through there again. So, um, kill that guy. Kill that guy. Killing these guys just cuz. Just cuz I can. Okay. Um. That's all the ones that I can see so far, so. There's some in there. Let's see where this pipe takes us. Alright, cool. That takes us back to here. So let's go for these ones down here. Um, let's go in this pipe, not jump. Unless you're jumping in the pipe, okay, that did not take me where I wanted to go. Oh, damn it. That didn't take me where I wanted to go. Let's see here, can we get in there without... Uh, no, we can't. Yeah, you can't get past that wall. I don't exactly remember how to get up there, though. That's the thing. No. Oh, fucking A. Fuck. Fuck. Try again. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. This will be sped up. I don't give 10 shits anymore. Whole level ones like this is just I'm just gonna speed them up. And play music, so enjoy whatever music I play. Hopefully it doesn't get copyright blocked again.
Okay, I finally got the fucking star. Been recording for 26 minutes already. 20 of which were this fucking level. I hate verbal stars so fucking much. <laughs> and my voice hurt, my throat hurts from doing the Bowser voice. Okay, I think that we're done with the Terras now. It should tell us, I think. Come on, hurry up. Fave already. Do we do everything in here? Yeah, we're done with the terrace now. We never have to go back to it, ever. Thank God. Okay, we're gonna do the fountain next episode. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my videos. Until next time, it's been Constipated Burrito Cage. Peace out, have a great day, bye.